Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth4 for another f first impressions video. No. What was I? I am so tired today. For another weekly update. Yeah, first impressions on me being tired. It sucks! Um, sorry if you hear barking. I forgot to close my window and I don't want to get up because it's raining and everything hurts today. <laughs> Um, it's also why the lighting is weird and just, I don't know, everything. It's one of those days. It's been one of those weeks. This past week was like a self-care week, um, meaning that I just, I mean, I, I exercised, I drew art, and that was it. <laughs> um, it also rained every single day, and all my joints ache, and I really need to put on my gloves because my hands are doing the ouchie today. Where's, where's the other glove? There it is. Sorry, sushi. Mm. So, yeah. Um, it was a week. Uh, it started off last week's actually started off really nicely. We did the uh, the Breath of the Wild race with John. Raised over $1,000. So, that's awesome. I'm really happy that it was that successful. Had a fun time. And uh, I, I slept well. It was very tiring to do 8 hour streams, which is why I don't do them normally. Um, but, uh, it was good. It was fun. I also saved over my Breath of the Wild file, so now I guess I have to play it again. And maybe even do the Champions Ballad DLC this time. So, fun times. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, yeah, we didn't have any videos this, uh, this past week. We just had, um... Uh, VODs, okay, I'm gonna close the window because it's driving me nuts. I don't know whose dog that is, but it ain't mine. It ain't Dar's. <sighs> you got to see my fat butt. Um, so, the, uh, there was no videos this week. Uh, like I said last time, or previously, um, I'm just taking a little break from Final Fantasy 7 bonus videos and just videos in general uh, until September. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have another, another two weeks of lighter content. Um, last week I just really needed to just <laughs> take a break, but uh, this week, you hear my, these are my joints cracking, I just crack them like every 10 minutes now because they just keep on stiffening up. Uh, so, yeah, last week I needed to take off, um, but we did get Xenoblade and Animal Crossing streams and VODs up, so, uh, there is that, and this week, um, I might try some first impressions videos on a few things, uh, I'm hopefully gonna, on Wednesday, I think, there's gonna be a demo for Sea of Stars, which is a game that I, held, uh, backed on Kickstarter. Uh, that I really want to stream or just record a video for. Um, also, I have all those VODs of Night in the Woods, remember when I played that last year? So I want to finish putting that up since I started them and then stopped them. And uh, I figure if I'm not going to be uploading anything for two weeks, I may as well put those videos up. So a Night in the Woods will be going up if you missed those streams. Uh, it was a fun time. Um, so... Yeah, other than that, uh, we should have Animal Crossing this week on Tuesday. Again, Wednesday is probably going to be Sea of Stars. Depending on how long the demo is, I might switch to Xenoblade afterward, or some sort of variety thing, but uh, yeah, look forward to that. Um, I'm thinking about like switching up stream times uh, once September rolls around. Stream times and stream frequency. Uh, but I'm not gonna make, say anything, like, concrete now, because there are no plans. Like, uh, I'm thinking about it. Like, so it's not like, okay, as soon as September 1st rolls around, streams are at, you know, uh, 6 a.m., you know, and, and, no, no, no. Um, I just want to, I want to explore different times, because when I stream now is generally, like, dinner time for people, slash go to sleep time. You know, going into the later part of the streams, it's like people start winding down for bed. Um, also, to be 100% honest, it's the time when all the other people 
bi partners stream. You know, Miss A and and uh, and Tim and John and uh, my streams are usually at the tail end of Lucas streams on Tuesdays. So like, um, you know, it's not a competition, but I can't compete with that. <laughs> uh, and then people are like, well, do I go to an uh, interesting person stream or do I go to Dovey's stream? And there's an easy choice there. Uh, I would make the easy choice too if I wasn't streaming. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I want to try to stream um, at least like for people that have set schedules. I want to try to not stream over them as much because... Um, It'll give chance of people to actually, you know, not have to make a choice. But, um, you know, just to be brutally honest, you know, it's... <laughs> I can't compete with that. Um, I can't compete with it. Google, I didn't talk to you. <laughs> to be brutally honest, I can't, uh, I can't compete with, um, with, uh, other people like that. Uh, some people, like, have audiences for, like, really late night streams. I can't do really late night streams. I'm boring enough from, you know, 8 to 11 or 9 to 12. Um, but I think that I, if I move my streams to, like, earlier afternoon, it might work. The problem is that that might work for the summer, but when I'm planning on starting it is when school starts up again. I have no idea how much of my audience still goes to school everyone probably just has jobs at this point it's been almost 10 years now like the people that know me are all post school they might be in college still and whatever but like i know if people have jobs then the middle of the day is going to be awful um but uh you know if it's school also you know the middle of the day is going to be awful i i I don't think there's going to be a good time for my streams, is what I'm trying to say. But I'm going to, you know, every time that I've that I've like, you know, polled or said like, hey, you know, what's what's a better time? Um, I've gotten wildly different responses, and the respondents are either people that don't really show up to the streams anyway, or show up at any time, or. Um, you know, like, it's, it's not, uh, I get like five, five responses or whatever, you know, so I don't like doing polls because it makes it, like, personally makes me feel like I'm, I'm desperate, um, and I don't like that, but, um, yeah, I'm just rambling at this point, but, uh, <laughs> what's probably going to happen if we're all honest with ourselves is that the stream times won't change. And I'll just deal with deal with things as they are. I'm not saying that I'm ungrateful for the the people that do show up or you know like anything that happens because honestly we've I have had a lot of fun and people in the streams have had a lot of fun, um, especially lately. And uh, you know when people's uh, schedules do line up, then it's great. But um, I don't think that I that like the Tuesday night Wednesday night time slots are good for me. Um, I feel like I'd be much better, I don't know, on a Sunday, probably. Um, I had reasons why I don't stream on Sundays, It's, but it's it's nothing, it's, it's like personal reasons, it's nothing um, that cannot be changed, but that might become a stream time. I used to stream on Saturday nights way, way, way back, uh, those were pretty popular, but I don't think I want to stream against Proton John because I like watching those streams anyway and I'm tired on Saturday nights but um I might consider Sundays uh I might um I don't know about Mondays I don't think I would stream Mondays uh Friday Friday is out obviously um but you know if I do like a Sunday Tuesday Thursday Maybe, but then Tuesday, Thursday again is is in the middle of Lucas streams, and I kind of moderate for that. So, um, <laughs> I feel bad whenever I stream over that because I'm like, I'm going to leave my job. I mean, it's a it's a volunteer job, but I'm going to leave my job to go play video games. Um, so I kind of feel bad about that. But uh, yeah, what I'm what I'm trying to say is, um, 
I don't think there's any good times for me to stream, so I, I'm trying to pick the least worst times. Um, but I think I might introduce Sunday streams in the future, like late Sunday afternoon, because people might still be at work, but at least that doesn't run afoul of school generally. And if I do it, you know, Sunday afternoon as opposed to Sunday evening, then it won't be like, oh, I need to get to sleep now, you know, to start Monday. Okay, but anyway, it was it. We're 10 minutes into the video, and I have just talked your ears off about stupid stream ideas that will probably never happen. And I apologize. Um, but yeah, we also had the, the videos on Much Games, if you guys haven't been following that, so that at least those have been co consistent uploads. We're getting very close to the end of the game, but we still got a little ways to go. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not ungrateful for like the people that do come to my streams. I've never, I've never, I haven't felt, at least recently, I haven't felt like, um, uh, you know, nobody shows up. I at least have like a few lurkers, and I appreciate the lurkers immensely. Like, there's a few people that come by, they don't really talk, but they they watch, and you know, they probably watch other streams at the same time. I do that too. You know, that's perfectly fine. Like, if you want to multitask with their like. Uh, I, I very much appreciate the people that like feel comfortable coming in and just listening to me talk and make jokes and stuff. If the chat is active, that's cool, but like, you know, <laughs> I don't have an active chat during my Let's Play videos, so it's not like it's I'm not used to that. Um, so yeah, as long as you guys are, are happy, really. But um, if you do watch my streams and you are okay, you know, commenting here and you have like a time of day that like you're not at work or going to sleep or a time of week or if you think that Sunday afternoons would be a good idea let me know I never get feedback <laughs> I never like I'm not this isn't a knock on people this is just you know a fact I never get feedback so I say these things I don't expect answers but um, yeah but uh, I do try to think of you know when is a good time because I'm not big enough to just set a time and have people come. You know, it, it has to be like, I have to find a good time for people. You know, if I'm streaming. Uh, but anyway. Uh, this week was a very productive week in terms of art. I finished up the uh, Patreon pieces. I actually did four out of five of them this week. Um, so the first one was, uh, or the, you know, the second one of the month, but, um, uh, the first one was, uh, Precipice Zack as, um, Ashley Winchester from Wild Arms. One sec. Okay, this was good before the light balance hit. Come on. Anyway, uh, the colors look a lot nicer without the, the screen going crazy whatever I need to I need to uh, find a way to just turn off the 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 light balance and manually adjust it but yeah so that's that's the uh, that's the picture it's a lot brighter but it is what it is um, the uh, then the uh, also on the same day actually uh, I drew um, uh, this character is a Florin version of the patron uh, Major Mooch's uh, OC Lucy. Um, the Florins are from the game Starbound, so I had to look up references for that and stuff, and I think it came out pretty nicely. The arm is supposed to be a different color. That's just how she looks. Again, the colors don't come out right on this, but just pretend it looked nice. Uh, the next Patreon thing I had to do this week was uh, Wonder Woman as Diana Prince. Um, come on, you can focus on that. And uh, there's like there's uh, there's references of her online as Wonder Woman. There are not a lot of references of her as Diana Prince, and I can't get it to focus right on because the colors change too drastically. But assume it looks nice. Um, so yeah. It was actually kind of hell to try to get the um, the pictures for that. 
Uh, and the last thing that I did for the week um, for Patreon was um, Miklio from Tales of Zestiria, which I found out. I find I find out a lot of interesting things from uh, from the Patreon, um, s- specifically the name of things like uh, Edelgard. I always thought her name was Eldegard until I actually had to type it out because I was drawing her for Patreon. Uh, Miklio here, I thought was from the game Tales of Zestria, but no, because I never actually bothered to read it. But it's Zestiria, so, so um, yeah, I think this came out really nicely though. Um, and uh, let's turn the brightness back up a little. Um, so those are all up on my Patreon. Um, it's also drawing a um, cinnamon roll here. It's uh, Ochako Araka from My Hair Academia. There we go. That was part of another piece, but I'm not showing that here. Uh, another thing that I drew, which it says two days ago, and I felt like it was a lot more. Uh, Prochanjan got a, um, uh, like, one of those gamer chairs, but it was, like, branded for D.Va from Overwatch. So, so I drew Rosajan as, um, as D.Va and um gave uh gave the her mech uh like bagel color scheme and uh gave diva a rosalina color scheme uh her face kind of looks weird but that's more a product of trying to replicate overwatch's art style than anything else but i think it still came out nicely um and the final thing that i drew this week which i'm just very proud of because i think it came out nicely uh, is my uh, OC, my character, uh, Clara Velfreya. Um, I haven't drawn her in a while. I, I got a, uh, a commission a few weeks ago or a month ago or something from Germany, which I really like. But uh, I haven't drawn Clara in a while, and this is just without the jacket. So, um, yeah. Uh, the last time I drew her, like, seriously was... Uh, for a Patreon piece last year, I think. So, um, like November or something. So, uh, yeah. I just, I need to, I need to draw her more, A, to get more used to the, her look, and B, like, because I needed to make this specifically, like, with the, with the front, front face and everything as a, um, as a reference for myself. So that I remember how she looks. Um, but yeah, she's taller than me, which is cool. Um, there's also another another uh, version which I'm not showing you here, but you know if you follow if you follow the right accounts, um, I just had to make different references. So you know, one of them I'm just not putting on my main accounts, but uh, you can find info on that on my art account in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I love her so much. She likes she likes the uh, the t-shirts and she she really likes the jackets, like. I'll show you the numbers. The fact that anybody liked or retweeted this is amazing because who cares about other people's characters? She's not an established anime character. She's not like anything. She's mine, <laughs> um, and I project I project things onto her, which is great. But yeah, I really love her. I love her design. I love how she looks like. I really like how this piece came out in particular, and I'm really, really looking forward to working on her more. But uh, that's on my main Twitter account if you want to look at it. I also have like a, a moment on Twitter, you know, like Twitter moments. So I have a moment on Twitter, the collection of all, all the Clara art. But um, yeah, nobody cares about other people's OCs, which is why you have to draw them yourself. Um, Although I do draw other people's characters, like like Roku for Masay, or um, uh, I drew uh, Dove Song for Luca, and if I find other people's OCs, I'll probably try. I mean, I draw Precipice Zach, you know, every other month, so that's that's an OC too, and I'm happy that I can draw that for uh, for Zach on uh, for Patreon. But um, and Lucy was an OC, and and. Uh, John Riel from a month or two ba- a month back. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy when I can do that because there's a joy in getting art of a character that you created. 
that's not the same as just seeing a character that you like. Um, but uh, nobody, nobody, you know, does that really. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna throw money at people to draw her for me. Um, I did that with Gemini and it worked. So I'm gonna try to find other people to throw money at to draw her. Um, let's see. This week was my ninth Twitter anniversary, so yay. I joined Twitter because of peer pressure and to stalk Chucka Conroy. So, <laughs> so it was fun. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see if anything else interesting. Yeah, Twitter introduced a feature to... Um, you can turn off replies on tweets, so you could just say things and people cannot fight you. And I guess that's great for some people. But it's so far, I've only seen people using it to troll, which, you know, that's the internet. Um, da, 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 da. Let's see. Yeah, I used it to troll, so that's how I know. <laughs> so one, of, one of my friends has been uh, streaming Dangarumpa 2 blind, and um, it's, just, it's just been really fun. Uh, but one of the things was just the idea that if Sonia, Sonia Nevermind were around today, she would probably say things like, This is most poggers! Or things like that. I can't do a Sonia impression, but, um, yeah. She just, she's, you know, if you listen to the li her lines in the game, she would definitely say, This is most poggers. This is not poggers at all. Like, Kazuichi would definitely get her to start saying that. Anyway, that's completely has nothing to do with the weekly update, but I'm just, I just go through my Twitter timeline to remind myself uh, what exists. <clears throat> There's apparently going to be a Lego Star Wars holiday special coming to Disney+, Plus, and I don't know... <laughs> it's like, it seems to be like the, the sequel series characters, but given how the other holiday specials went, I'm really excited and really scared. It, it could be very poggers or not poggers at all. I cursed things I sent to Luca. Um, Alright, uh, Clara, I, g I gave her freckles also because characters with freckles are ad adorable and people too. There's two things. If you want to make me happy, there's two things. One, freckles on the face. You know, like that's that's why I drew that uh, Junko uh, a few weeks ago, or like a beauty mark, like here or, or here or wherever. Mari, Chiaki, uh, Marina. Uh, there's other people. I swear there are other people with beauty marks. Any people, anybody with beauty marks is is beautiful. That's why the beauty mark is there. So if you want to make me love a character, just put a beauty mark somewhere, and I'll be happy. I have very low standards. <laughs> I have very low standards. Um, let's see. And, yeah, that's about it for the week. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate you all just listening to my, my ramblings and stuff light is just going out as it continues to rain. Um, so yeah, this week, I'll try to get Night in the Woods streams up. Uh, Animal Crossing stream, we're introducing, like, Dream Suite stuff, so if you have a, if you can't come to the stream, but you'd like me to check out your town via Dream Suite, you can send me the code for that. Um, there's, uh, you know, Wednesday will hopefully be that Sea of Stars thing. Um, and yeah, that's that's about a night in the woods vods and trails in the sky on much games. So yeah, um, thank you for bearing with me for a lull in videos for a few weeks. Um, I'm kind of filling my time with spending time with people and art. I'm trying to focus on a few things with art that I just want to get done. Um, I'm not doing any crazy projects like I did back in March because I'm really trying to avoid burnout because the burnout is terrible. Um, I'm already like feeling the effects of that. Like 
not to extend this like another five minutes, but like when I draw a lot at once, um, it's it's like a stamina meter. And when that stamina meter hits zero, it's like in, in Breath of the Wild, you know, if you like, you know, run a little bit and then wait, your stamina like, you know, goes back up and, and you can like run and stop and run and stop and you know, the stamina meter. But if you run all the way and deplete the stamina meter, then you have to like stop and your link is like, it's really, really tired and you have to wait till it fills all the way back up again before you can do anything. So it's kind of like that, except with depression. <laughs> so like, you know, doing art and working on it like happy and then like, okay, there's a little lull, but I, I got, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. And then I do one big project and it completely depletes my, uh, my stamina meter and then I crash. So, um, I'm trying to avoid that, but I can't tell right now if I'm in the crash or if I'm like teetering on the edge. I can feel it though. And I'm really, really trying to not get into that, which is why I'm also not working on the Final Fantasy VII videos right now. Um, Cause I just trying to do things like exercise, which equals endorphins. Um, so yeah. So bear with me is what I'm trying to say. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being you. Um, you know, if you come to the streams, uh, thank you so much. If you can't or, you know, you stop by sometimes, that's perfectly fine and awesome. Like, I'm okay with people that show up, like, once a year. <laughs> um, because I do that for other people. I can't, like, judge people on things that I do. That's hypocritical. So, yeah. Um, but thank you for being you is what I'm trying to say. You know, if you patronize other people's streams, thank you for making them happy. Like, you know, it's, it's really cool to see people happy, even if I'm not making them happy or like, you know, someone else is, is they're making someone else happy. Like, it's cool to just see people being happy. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay if I'm not directly involved with that. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, and you're still a good week, hopefully. Um, it's supposed to not rain this week, so yay. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.